Yes, these two have met before, and not so long ago. Volkswagen's GTI came in second to the Mazda Speed 3 in our January 2009 Hot Hatch Comparo. But both cars have undergone makeovers for 2010, and we figure no excuse is too trivial when there's a chance to put these two compact outlaws through their paces. The Speed 3 enters 2010 with new sheet metal, a restyled interior, new wheels, stiffer suspension tuning, and revised mechanics. It's motivated by the same spunky 2.3 liter turbo as before, but now the juvenile delinquent is tamed with a bit of revised torque management program. This slows the trip to 60 miles per hour down to 5.8 seconds from the previous 5.5 without actually quelling torque steer noticeably, but the Mazda is still quicker than the GTI by half a second. The revised suspension yields an improved ride, although still not as pleasant as the GTI's and the wider rubber on this year's model elevated both skid pad and lane change speeds from the 2009 model's numbers. But the Speed 3 lacks the quality feel of the GTI. The interior is unappealing, especially the red splattered seats, which are uncomfortable to look at and to sit in. The in-dash nav screen is too small for our non-adolescent eyes. Clutch engagement is abrupt compared to the GTI's, and the shifter is imprecise. The V-Dub has the clear edge and all-around livability. But if smoky burnout hooliganism is your priority, the Speed 3 is still the champ. This 6th generation GTI gets mostly minor upgrades. New front and rear fascias, a bigger hatch opening, and a restyled interior. Mechanical changes are likewise minimal. A stiffened rear anti-roll bar and a reprofiled electronic transverse differential lock to inhibit roasting of the tires during cornering. The GTI even trots on the same 200 horsepower Turbo 4 as last year. The VW product planners have instead concentrated on sophistication. Interior materials are a cut above the competition, ergonomics are first rate, and the key points of man-machine contact, steering wheel, foot pedals, shifter, make the driver happy to be there. The seats are worthy of a BMW, clad in GTI's traditional plaid cloth and comfortable on long drives. Aside from acceleration, the GTI is a match for the Speed 3 in all performance categories. It's quick on its feet with eager responses. Add athleticism to a smooth ride quality and you have a winning combination. Still, we couldn't help but wonder what more horsepower might feel like in the GTI. As one of our judges noted, what would this car be like with the Speed 3 motor? We'll just have to wait for more power and the occasion to compare these two pocket rockets again.